Crooklyn. They only eat better. They only eat better. Mick Jenkins. So, yo, hey. Yo, let's read between these bars. Off the top, just off the intro alone, we already got Ab making little references. Knowing that this is going to be like kind of like a Jay-Z nod or a defensive of Jay-Z nod or anything having to do with Jay-Z. Crooklyn. Jay used to always shout Crooklyn out early in his career. You go go listen to nothing but love. Then right after he shouts Jay out, he shouts out Mick Jenkins. And I was like, what the f*** Mick Jenkins got to do with any of this shit? That's when I started doing a little digging. I found these tweets of Mick talking about the whole situation and how much of a bitch J. Cole is. And how much we found out how much of a bitch J. Cole was. And this was in April. This is before Cole started trying to massage Drake's feet with that one song that he just released. The way that Ab carries the flow on this song too, it sounds like the I Shot Your Freestyle. The Jay-Z I Shot Your Freestyle. And then the follow up to that, the best rapper we're live or not was laced by the grace I just had to tie the knot. Hey, it's a warning, stupid. Like, come on, bro. Who calls himself the best rapper alive? Jay, laced by the grace. Jay calls himself Ho for the longest, you know what I'm saying? And Ab is constantly talking about how big of an influence Jay is on him. And that laced by the grace bar goes even crazier with this tweet right here. The best rapper alive or not was laced by the grace. I just had to tie the knot. Hey, it's a warning. Uh, Better show to warn me they want a war, but actually they forfeiting like they wardrobe for half of the week. Still eating rappers like chicken quesadillas with extra cheese and pico de gallo thinking they fire, but they easily mild. This article from Rolling Stone that I found explains the Minnesota bar perfect. Apparently, Ab was getting ate up in battles and Minnesota wasn't with it. He was like, what the fuck? Let's try some shit out. Boom. And it's that bar you heard right there because cats be forfeiting like they wardrobe for half of the week. That shit. I'm gonna leave a link to the article in the I do it. I was born with this style. It's unfortunate how they put a pro choice in question like abortion is, is now. Triple on. This is a layered ass bar. Let's keep it at that. They put a pro choice in question like abortion is now. Think about the all the retracting that J. Cole is doing after he was so called standing on his and how his spirit wasn't right. This motherfucker went off and sailed on a damn boat. Motherfucker went kayaking. Chilling with people on the beach and shit, listening to seashells, and it was like, oh shit. Poor Antonio, let me play middleman. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. Oh shit, you, you didn't mean to hear that. My bad, it's deleted. Might delete later. Haha, -ha. you ain't get it. You ain't get it. Thou shalt not fuck with raw me or he. Face a thousand deaths from Mr. Herbert Anthony. Steven Zabi from a potent dope. Not a Cuban cigar maker, but not one all of the smoke. Damn, bro. I wish I would have broke this down a long time ago before Genius had a hand and everybody else. It's from Squeeze First. Like, we all know that. But Ab does have a song called Raw Backwards. Go listen to that shit. That, just, that shit is dope, bro. They need to listen to this before they think about fucking with Ab for real. Crooklyn, one of my favorite movies. Now me and Crooklyn be making movies. Spike, please do the right thing. Don't sue me. I got that part. Spike, please do the right thing. Don't sue me. That's dope as hell, bro. That devil. God, bro. Spike Lee, do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, ain't, yeah. I got a really interesting piece on the Malcolm X bar right here that I'm going to link in the description. You can read this right here. Boom. This is a piece from it. Side. Hip hop songs are for all my brothers on the front line. If this resonate with you, I'm inviting you to come by with me till our multiplicity is big enough to blow them up with one bomb. Why you think we always in some bomb? Cause they don't want us to come by. They don't want the real hip hop to come back and take over, bro. All these damn handbags and nails about to get up out the door. Absol squeeze first to squeeze first Jay-Z's version is the inspiration behind this. He pockets Jay-Z's flow every now and again. Fuck all that, ain't no shots for Cole. Nah, that's bullshit. It's obvious what the hell is being said here. We're between the bars. We ain't stupid. What did Kendrick say? Hey Drake, they're not dumb. Hey everybody, we're not stupid. Not just Drake. Like and subscribe. Let me know if I missed anything. Probably did. I don't be watching nobody's breakdowns like that. Especially not for songs like this that I know I want to listen to. If I did miss some shit, then whatever, fuck it. I'll put it in the comments. But I don't like to watch other people's shit because I don't want their talking points. I don't want to be influenced by anything. 
I just want to listen to this shit blind with like with nothing, bro. Just me off the top. And if I miss shit, I miss shit. Whatever. It's whatever. I'll see you on the next one. See if I can get that damn handsome. That shit's blocked by UMG globally, bro. They weren't fucking around. As soon as I uploaded that bitch and it went for checks, that boop right up out the door. I said, what the fuck? I gotta, I gotta fix this. That shit's crazy. Yeah. I'll be on it. Like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.